All right, folks, I don't know how many times I got to tell you guys this, but this is very important. I mean, Coweta's future hangs in the balance. Uh, if we don't get Doug Jordan in, I'm going to keep hammering the message home. And if I have to go live after this, I will. Whatever I got to do, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we're doing a watch party right now, and uh, today was day one of of uh, early voting here in Coweta County. Uh, for those of you who are fr friends of mine on here and not familiar with Coweta County or Georgia in general, uh, it's just 30 minutes south of Atlanta. Um, we're right, we're right below Fulton County. Uh, Fulton County is on a northern border, um, and uh, so we're that close to Atlanta, but yet far enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean by that. We're far enough to not be in the city and get the city's riffraffiness, but. We're close enough where, you know, it could trickle on down, which it has been if we don't nip it in the butt. So, Doug Jordan, what he stands for is to nip it in the butt. It's, we've had an uptick in crime, of course, with the increased uh, pop population, a lot of people here. And I've been talking to people, and one person in particular said, uh, his name was Chris. Uh, this guy was very accomplished. We were talking out when, uh, after we done cast our vote outside the building. And... Uh, this guy actually used to do sailboating in uh, Florida with Ted, the likes of Ted Turner and um, I think like the CEO of Zenith and just other CEOs of corporations. And it's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable the stuff he was telling me. This guy is so freaking accomplished. But, um, you know, this guy cast his vote for, uh, I think, Lynn Wood, which is the second time someone did that based on friendship and uh, not based on facts. And the fact is, Doug Jordan's the only one who's not part of the good old boy system. He's not um, taking uh, any donations from anybody. He's self-financed. That's why you don't see a whole lot of his signs out. Uh, the, we, we put one out over here in the uh, Thomas Crossroads area. And uh, it's, 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 he's the real deal. I mean, he doesn't have a big uh, sign out doing this, holding his thumb out, and standing for nothing. It doesn't say anything on a sign, just like this. All right, it's nice and polished, and it's bigger than everyone else's. Uh, by the way, who, who's paying for that? Someone has to be financing that. I doubt it's the candidate. So then that means a candidate it has to answer to those people, right? The ones who uh, donate finances uh, candidacy. Doug Jordan is self-financed. Doug Jordan, that's why you don't see a whole lot of signs. And he's also backed by Sheriff Arpaio. I'm going to ask you a question. Are any other, any of the other candidates backed by Sheriff Arpaio? I, I'm, I hear crickets. Well, that's what I thought. Did any other candidates say they weren't part of the good old boys uh, uh, club? You know what I mean? The old blood, good old boy club. Oh, oh, okay, I hear crickets again. Doug Jordan's not part of the good old boy club, and he actually says it. He's, he's going to come in and clean up a corruption here in Coweta County, in the Sheriff's Department, and there he is, ladies and gentlemen, always at work, always doing something, and he'll go to work for us. you got to put him in office. He'll actually ride and patrol. He'll ride a beat. He'll patrol. He's not going to have his feet kicked up uh, and calling it a day just because he got elected. No, 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 sir, no, ma'am. Uh, there's a new sheriff in town. His name is Doug Jordan, and he's going to beef up residential. He's going to actually do residential patrols. Now, I know, I think I heard someone call wind that someone uh, said, uh, is it the guy running, supposedly, who was running for sheriff, says, oh, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're starting to uh, do residential uh, patrols. Well, uh, starting to? That should have been done the whole from the get-go for, for decades so Doug's gonna do it this is a Doug Jordan idea and he's gonna do it I gotta get him in because our neighborhoods need it I know ours does and all our neighborhoods need more presence I've already asked for uh, presence here we have and uh, fell upon deaf ears so that goes to show you uh, under the current uh, whoever's in charge uh, it doesn't appear to be getting done folks now if you suddenly all of a sudden show up start patrolling then you know then I'll know that you caught wind of this uh, here video but, and that's not going to sway my vote at all. Doug jo Jordan's uh, proactive. Let's get it there. Proactive. And uh, let's see here. He has, uh, he swears and he promises to, uh, first and foremost, protect all of our children in our schools. Let me lower that. That's Paul Begley in the background. I apologize. It's probably uh, Protect all our children in our schools. Get rid of the drugs. Uh, get these SROs to actually do their jobs. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, man. I mean, I taught school. I taught middle school here six years, and I'm going to leave it at that. So he's going to get them to do their, their their job, plus have more security measures in the school. And also, 
he's going to protect our young teenage drivers on our city and county roadways by stricter enforcement of our traffic laws, ladies and gentlemen, and by instituting driver training education class instructed by law enforcement, which would be citizen voluntary, but instruction trained by LE, law enforcement. That's wonderful. Stop the drugs, stop the crime, and gang activity. Pants on the ground, pants on, looking like a fool with your drug slinging pants on the ground. Gonna get, get rid of the riffraff, get rid of, drive them out of the neighborhood, drive them out of the county. You won't ever have to worry about drugs. And take it from Doug, this guy's lost a lot. His family has lost tremendously. And a lady told me just how bad it is. I've, I suffered, and I'm surmising it was at the hands of drugs. So uh, tr- the tragedies that what he suffered in his family, it's a shame. But he doesn't want anybody else to go through that. So he wants to get rid of the drugs. And uh, he wants to have a better rapport between the uh, law enforcement. He, by the way, he wants to get the officers to do their job. Like when I have a request to, or we do, to have uh, police presence in our neighborhood and we're not getting it, well, he'll do it. All right. He told me he'll have four cop cars here just sitting there watching. Hey, yeah, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And everything's on the up and up, that's wonderful. But if it's not, uh, we'll nip it in the bud. We'll take care of them. Don't know how to park on a lawn? Perhaps uh, the new sheriff in town will show you where to park. Not on the, not on the freaking grass. It's on the on the driveway. What, what's wrong with people, man? It's all the craziness he wants to get rid of. The dangerous drivers, the drugs. Uh, he wants to train the elderly to, um, you know, about the uh, scammers out there. Make them aware that they don't become prey. And... Uh, also give you Second Amendment training. That's right, free of charge. How much you paying? At, how much you paying at the range? Yeah, free of charge by law enforcement. Isn't that wonderful? Elect someone from government, from the present administration, or even any any of the other ones that are running, and we'll have months more of the same. What we've had for the past 30 years. Doug's been here 37 years. I've been here. We've been here 38. So we know. We know we'll have MOTS, M-O-T-S, MOTS, more of the same. We don't need more of the same. We don't need more crime. We don't need uh, less pre- police presence on in our neighborhoods when we requested. Uh, we need proactive. And guess what? He went to Sheriff Arpaio to see what his formula was, a strategy cleaning up uh, his county in Arizona. Uh, any one of those uh, other candidates do it? Do that? They get proactive and go find? No, I didn't think so. Sheriff Arpaio backs him up. If you don't know who he is, look it up. Look him up. He was railroaded by Obama because for doing his job, believe it or not, for doing his job. But that's typical of Obama. And if you don't don't look it up on fake news. Look up the real deal of who Joe uh, Joe Apio is. Highly, highly, highly accomplished sheriff and uh, very tough. So Sheriff Arpaio sent him a letter saying uh, thank you, thank you for being proactive. And folks, all you gotta do is go into Doug Jordan for Coweta County Sheriff. That's the page I created for Mr. Mr. Jordan. Uh, that's how that's how much uh, we need him to be elected, and I felt you know I felt bad he didn't have any signs out and stuff. I was like, man, uh, you know I don't have the money to, to make signs, but I can get the word out. You want me to get the word out? I'll use word of mouth in person, which I did today, by the way, Doug. I really did today. I pushed it hard, but you know what? I even talked to a guy at, at the gym, and I said I just early voted for, uh, sheriff. He goes Doug Jordan right out of his mouth. I said the only one and only. No one else. Uh, I don't care if they if the other ones said the same exact things he said. They're not backed by Sheriff Arpaio. That means a lot. That right there means a lot. That that means a lot, a lot. Sheriff Arpaio told him, "I can't believe." Uh, no, thank you for coming out. That shows how much you really love this county. That you traveled out here to find out, you know, how to, you know, make Coweta safe again, or safer again. All right. It meant a lot because it showed that he's proactive. Uh, don't call me. I think. Uh, well, I'm not going to say. I think when he went out there, there was uh, the... Uh, I'll just bite. I'll just stop on that. I'll have to go look it up, this article. Uh, anyway, what else? Uh, go here to contact Doug Jordan directly. He is an administrator on there. He's going to be answering the emails. I'm not. But there's Sheriff Arpaio. Uh, let's see. That's a video I did on him. And let's take a look at some of his... See, it's endless traffic in a dead-end neighborhood. We'll have to investigate that. Constantly, all day and night. Uh, but these are his um, accomplishments. I guess training he's had. Yeah, FEMA certification. You see it right there. You see it. And just go to his website. You'll see it's, it's so much to make your head spin. It'll make your head spin how, how, how accomplished Doug Jordan is and how much certifications, how many he has, and the kind of training that he has. This is phenomenal. Um... 
let's see if we get that letter. Do we, is that the letter? No, that's his, uh, I guess when he went to uh, his pledge of uh, sheriff. I'm find, trying to find a letter. No, just just go over to, uh, it's, it's on there, it's on there. Uh, let's see here. There it is, there it is, folks. Right there, right there. Right there. Go look at it. See for yourself. Sheriff Ar Arpaio. Arpaio? Arpaio? Tomato, tomato, tomato. America's toughest sheriff. He went to America's toughest sheriff. That's how much he loves Coweta County. That's how much we need Doug Jordan as sheriff for Coweta County. I want to see some action. I'm tired of this. Uh, I'm, I'm just tired of the way things are. And I'm not the only one. We've seen the downward trend in, to an extent. We've seen the riffraff and the little boozies blowing on through with their drugs. We don't want your kind. We don't need it. We get, we're going to get rid of the riffraff. And it starts right here with Doug Jordan. I'm telling you, if you don't elect Doug Jordan, if you don't help me get him elected, you can kiss Cowie to goodbye. That's just the way I see it. That's facts. Facts.com, truth.org right there. All right, right there. We got to get Doug Jordan elected. Otherwise, uh, it's going to continue on uh, with more riffraff moving in. And with more riffraff comes more drugs and more crime. You you, you want to wait till your grandmother, your loved one gets attacked? You want to wait till one of these uh, drug pushers try to push drugs on uh, on your kid? Huh? No, you don't want to wait to that. You don't want to wait for uh, some teenage driver to run run a uh, crash right in you because he's doing 100 miles in a hot rod at 16 years old that his parents gave him, even though he or she has no business with a hot rod. <laughs> they need a freaking horse and buggy, as far as I'm concerned. You need to start small, son. You just a uh, or daughter, whatever you are. You just uh, you're just 16 years old, wet behind the ears. You get a freaking a machine like that. Let me ask you some parents doing that. When your kid was a toddler, did you give him a, a motorcycle to, to ride? No, you gave him a little tyke, a little bike with training wheels on it. You kidding me? You got to start like that, even at 16 years old. But that's why, that's the problems we have. So he's going to stricter enforcement. I don't see anybody else doing that. I don't see it. All right? Again, like I said, we asked for police presence here. Fell upon deaf ears. Who's in charge? It's not Doug Jordan. I don't want to hear it. I really don't. Doug Jordan is the choice. He's the one and only choice. And if we don't get him elected, if he doesn't get elected, you can literally kiss the county goodbye. You'll wake up one day, maybe five years from now, think you're, uh, think you're, you'll be like, am I in Clayton County? I thought this was Coweta County. Where's my Coweta County? Well, you had your chance, just like in 2016. If we didn't make that decision, we had our chance. It would have been over, it would have been over a lot sooner than it's going to be over now. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, right? If we, if we elected Hillary, it would have been over, over. If you think it's over over now, it ain't. At least we've had some more time here to uh, get our act together. That's right. You'll see more of this. You'll see more patrolling, folks. More patrolling. And also, we'll actually have a sheriff on the road. On the road with them. That's right. He'll be proactive, not reactive. That's what we need. More officers on the road, motorcycles, uh, officers on motorcycles too. Oh yeah, and patrolling in our neighborhoods? In the neighborhood, we'll have some police presence in the neighborhood. Finally, finally, a sheriff that takes action right here in Coweta County. He's gonna nip the crime in the bud. He's gonna drive the drugs and gangs the heck out of here. Go look at all the good stuff he wants to do for Coweta County. He wants to make Coweta safe again. Not saying it's not relatively safe now, but if you got to worry about your mom, your elderly mom going to Walmart or something like that at night, yeah, because the freaks are coming out. Yeah, Houston, we have a problem. You know, why do you got a cop there stationed there? I understand why, because of crime. But, I mean, if he drives all the crime out or really gets a handle on it, we might not need that cop there anymore, okay? So he wants to get rid of the riffraff. He wants to get rid of the drugs. Um, and he wants to have stricter laws for the teenage drivers and enforce them, in other words, stricter enforcement and tra training for them. And other dangerous drivers. He's, you driving, you tailgating? You tailgating and, and want to speed and cut people off? More police will be on the road to help them out. Dangerous drivers. That's what we need because I'm seeing it. It is an epidemic. I've even done videos on it with my uh, dangerous drivers cam. It's bad. It's really bad. And these people need to get pulled over like big time. Um, and a message sent that they got to quit driving like that. Risking life and limb, you know? It's not right. So, the only one that's going to be doing this for us and cleaning up Coweta County, Doug Jordan. Stay tuned for tonight's video on this, too. I got another one coming up. This is just a little watch party. We're going to do another one later, and I might have to go live again. It is what it is. We got to get Doug Jordan elected, or you can kiss the county goodbye. It doesn't get any simpler than that.
Yeah, folks, this will look better on uh, if you expand your computer, like the screen, or if you're watching it on a cell phone. It's, it's formatted mostly for the cell phone, these types of uh, clips right here. But uh, this segment right here is called New Sheriff in Town. Now, see, if you elect someone else, you might have uh, you're going to get a repeat of what we've had. That's not really new, is it? It's the same old, same old. I mean, it's just another person in there doing the same old, same old. We don't need that. We need a new sheriff. Just like Sheriff Arpaio's America's toughest sheriff, you elect Doug Jordan, we're going to have America's, uh, Coweta's toughest sheriff, finally. Come on, folks, do the right thing. Don't vote just because they're your friend, you vote for them, or you promise. Let me tell you something. If a friend of mine was uh, running for sheriff and he wasn't going to do the things that we needed to be done, I'll be looking, I'll look, I'm straight face, sucker, I ain't voting for you. You ain't getting my vote. <laughs> HCDN had to know. I'm voting for so-and-so because I like the, what, what that person stands for. So that's what you got to vote for. Don't call, vote on gender for any anyone in any office. Don't vote on gender. Don't vote on uh, on uh, color. Don't vote because they're the good old palsy wowsies. You vote because uh, you vote because. Uh, hold on, just a second. Yeah, as I was saying, you don't you don't vote on uh, color or gender. You vote on policy or what, uh, the platform that they run on. And there's only one for Coweta County that's going to do the job. Period. End of story. Backed by Sheriff Arpaio. Proactive, not reactive. Not not part of good old boy system. And a list of other stuff. Go go check it out on Doug Jordan for uh, Sheriff.com. Go look at his uh, Facebook page, Doug Jordan for Coweta Sheriff on Facebook. And you can talk to him and send him messages directly. All right? Whatever you do, don't be voting for the establishment. Don't be voting for the same old, same old. Don't be voting just because they're your friend. You promised. I, you promised. Who cares he promised? It doesn't matter. Just go vote for it. Do the right thing. Tell them, look, you know, uh, we, need to take, we need to take back our county. We need to take back our streets. We need to kick the drugs out and the gangs. Since when has Kelly had gangs? Since when? But you know what? Clayco has gangs. DCAP has gangs. Fulton County. Since when did Kelly have it? Now we got it. Right? Not not bad, but like them, obviously. But if we don't nip it in the bud, trust me, it will be bad. Go look at the Fayetteville, the outer fringes of it and all that. Uh, it's coming down the pike if you don't put a stop to it. Bottom line. So uh, early voting. And early voting on uh, June 14th, uh, June 8th also on a Saturday. All right? Go look up the Noonan, Onion Times, I mean, Noonan Times Herald. And uh, June 1st, go come out and meet them. Go to Sheriff uh, Doug Jordan for Sheriff.com and you'll see it, the instructions. It's on Cedar Creek Road, June 1st, next Saturday, from 12 to whenever it ends, QA. Alright? And meet meet Doug Jordan in person uh, at the old barn and uh, lunch on him. <laughs> Anyone else doing that? I don't know. I, I, I haven't heard it if they are. But Doug Jordan is. Proactive, not reactive. Just what Coweta needs. Elect Doug Jordan for Sheriff or kiss the county goodbye. You'll have no one to blame but yourself, period.